Hello everyone and welcome back to another Symphony tutorial. Today we had a question from our fantastic Facebook community regarding printing on demand. Right now at the end of each transaction receipts print automatically and they get thrown in the bin and he would like for there to be either a prompt to ask for a customer receipt or for the employees to push a button and print a receipt only when it's needed. This is a great idea to do, especially in quick service scenarios where most of the customers do not want their receipts because it saves on paper and it saves the planet. So, of course, it's an all around good idea. If you have a question about Micro Symphony or want to meet fellow hospitality enthusiasts, you definitely want to join our community. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. It's free to join for everyone. And with that, let's go to our workstation and take a look at how it behaves now and what we need to do to make it print on demand. OK, so here we are at our workstation. And the first thing we need to do is to go ahead and sign in and take a look at how our system looks like. Now we're in a typical sit down restaurant style. So that means when we sign in, uh, we go to the begin a fast transaction screen. So if I begin a fast transaction, I get prompted for the number of guests and for quick service, uh, that's going to be an issue. And then I go to my main screen where I would ring up an item and I get prompted for a seat number, also not ideal. And then I would have your typical send and send and stay and your print check. And then my payments would be here. Now, ideally, what I want to do is, first of all, go straight into the food order screen or drink order screen if it's a cafeteria much better for uh, quick service scenarios. And then I would want some payment keys here on the bottom and I would not send orders and everything like that. Also, I would want my employee to stay signed in. So there's a couple of changes that I need to do. So let's jump into EMC and take a look at those changes. And really quick before we continue with this video, I just wanted to remind you guys of our online learning platform where you can find everything regarding training and support for Micro Symphony. You can find all the details at simsupport.online. OK, so here we are in EMC. And the first thing that I want to do is make my employee not get kicked out of the screen after a couple of seconds of inactivity and also not at every transaction. So I need to change the operator type. And also it was asking me for a guest count, which is going to be very annoying in a fast paced scenario. So we'll take a look at that first. We're going to go to the property level here and in the configuration tab, I'm going to take a look at employee classes. So opening that, I'm going to open my server employee class. Now you can also create one called cashier or something else. If you use only cashiers, I'm going to go to the operator records here. And in the restaurant, I'm going to click the ellipsis here to open my options. And I'm going to uncheck this to require the table number. And then I'm also going to uncheck this to require the number of guests. And also option number eight, which will transform my employee into a stay down operator. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK on that and save it. And we can go back to the workstation and take a look at what changed. OK, so we're back here at the workstation and as always, I'm going to click a quick update just to get my changes through and I'm going to go ahead and sign in. And now if I begin a fast transaction, you see I was not prompted for uh, the number of guests. Also, if I ring in a quesadilla and go ahead and pay it out to exact cash, when I click OK, I still stay on the main screen as opposed to getting kicked all the way out to the sign in screen. So that will make the speed of service much better. So those two changes are very good in our transition from a sit down restaurant to a more fast style restaurant. Now let's go back to EMC and make some changes in page design. And now that we're back in EMC, I'm going to go ahead and open page design and I want to make some changes to add a few cash keys. So I'm going to go to my transaction screen, change the aspect ratio to 16 to 9. So I have a print key here, a send and stay and a send. So now for the print key, I am going to use a function because right now this is just a typical print check tender media that we would use in a restaurant where you can print multiple checks. But what I'm actually going to change it to is going to be a function. And this function is called print guest receipt. So it's this one right here. And this works well with that RVC parameter that I'm going to turn on a little bit later, which is the on demand guest receipt printing. And I'm going to go ahead and click OK. 
And now I'm also going to add some cash keys here. So I'm going to change it from a tender media to a payment tender. And this is going to be a cash. So it's going to be cash. And then I'm going to make this one request. So this is going to be your typical push the button and it asks you how much cash you received. So the function for this is request. Other options are dollar up, exact and specified. Uh, this one's going to be regular. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click Generate Legend just to get my cash key here. And then the one right next to it, I'm going to do the same. So this is going to be a payment tender cash. But this one, I'm actually going to make it be exact. So then I'm going to click OK. This one's going to also be cash. And I'll just add here exact. So then the cashiers would know exactly what it is. So then we have a print button and then we have a cash key and a cash exact and then we'll just be able to ring up the items here and then close them out to cash really quick and i'll show you how the print key will work in order to have it on demand and not just every time we push the cash key go 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 ahead and save this and we'll get back to the workstation and take a look at our changes and we're going to click a quick update as always and go ahead and sign in. We can begin a fast transaction, ring up our item. And now we have our print cash and cash exact. So we can click that and then go ahead and click OK. So that works perfectly. But I don't like the fact that I have to hit this begin fast transaction every time. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to make the system start me directly here and kind of stay on the screen all the time. I don't even want to move because that's going to make my speed of service even faster. And in order to make that change, we are back in EMC and we're, we're going to access the page assignment module. So I'm going to open this up. I'm going to go to the configuration and I'm going to change my default transaction page from the begins check to the actual transactions page itself. You can also change this one if you want, just to have your training page changed. But this is the main one that you would want to change. Go ahead and save and we can close page assignments. And let me go back to the workstation and I'll show you what that did. OK, let's click a quick update as always. And I'm going to go ahead and sign in. And this is what I wanted to see. As soon as I sign in, I immediately see the food, right? So we have our quesadilla here. I can ring it up. I can hit cash exact. And then I'm still here. I don't have to go back to that screen, begin a fast transaction, go back to the screen. I can keep ringing up this menu item and then I can continue, keep the line moving and be as fast and efficient as possible. And this is how a typical quick service restaurant would operate where you just stay on the main screen and you have payment keys on the bottom. Uh, I just wanted to show you how I would get here just because I had questions before regarding stay down operators versus pop up operators, how you would be not prompted for the number of guests, you know, the different adding different cash keys being the difference between a prompt cash and an exact cash key. And now we're going to tackle the whole issue we initially started discussing regarding the printing on demand, because right now, as I rung up my different quesadillas, I got receipts printing here. So we're going to go back to EMC and tackle our main problem. And the first thing I want to do is I want to make a change in the workstation settings. So for this, I'm going to select my property level, go to the setup tab and go to my workstations, open up my dining workstation one. I'm going to go to the option bits and here in the display slash security, I'm going to turn on option bit number five. Now, this option bit will allow us to not clear the screen after the transaction. And I'll show you why I'm going to do that. It's related to the print on demand. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. And the second option that I'm going to change is going to be in the revenue center parameter. So I'm going to select my RVC level, go to RVC parameters, go to the option bits. And I'm going to turn on printing on demand, which is going to be option bit number nine. So I'm going to have that on. Now, what this will do is it will make the workstation function with that do not clear screen after a transaction is enabled. So we're still going to see the transaction on the screen. And I already have that on. And the tender media option print customer receipt is overridden. So although I have that option on, it's not going to work anymore. The workstation will only print when I hit my print customer receipt function, which I added on the screen earlier. And then that is when the receipt will print, even though my cash tender media has the checkbox to print a receipt. This option bit will actually override it, which is exactly what we want us to do. And we're going to go ahead and save this and go ahead and close RVC parameters. 
and let's go back to the workstation and take a look at our configuration. And here we are back at the workstation. We're going to do a quick update as always. So we're going to go ahead and sign in, order quesadilla, and go ahead and cash it out. And I'm also going to minimize this application so that I can show you exactly what happened. I have a digital receipt here. You see nothing printed. So if something would have printed, I would have seen it here. If I do another test now, we can go ahead and re-sign in. So I order a quesadilla, hit exact cash, close the transaction, and you see this is the option bit that I enabled on the workstation. The receipt is still here. So now you have a chance to ask the customer if they would like a customer receipt. So if they would say they would want a receipt, all you have to do is click print and a receipt will print. So if I go ahead and minimize the application again, I will show you that it indeed printed. So we have our customer receipt here, which is exactly what we're trying to achieve. So the reason why I like this better where the receipt gets printed only when we hit the print key is because you will make the service even faster. So if we would make it have a prompt after we hit cash, then it would slow down a little bit. But now because this didn't even clear, like this transaction is closed, they already put the money in the drawer and everything. Even if the customer comes back a little later, says, hey, would you like a receipt? They initially say no. And then they think about it and they say, yes, I will take a receipt. If you haven't started a new transaction on top of this one, you can still hit print and a receipt will come out for you. And if you just start another transaction right on top of this one, then just another transaction starts. You don't have to clear it off the screen or do anything else like that. You just continue working. And if anybody does want a receipt, hit print and you're good to go. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions regarding Micro Symphony, make sure to leave it in our online community or in the description below in the comment section. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again in the next one.